Hey guys, Casey Foster here from netcodeguides.com doing another demo review here for Sai Fizik uh, with some cool spelling. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, he is hoping it's a he. It's got a girl's picture. Pretty sure it's a dude. Um, this is an ESCA pug. He's currently legendary Eagle Master in matchmaking, although that's not always a representation of their skill. Um, what he says about this match, he says this is an ESCA match on Inferno. Inferno 1 is my favorite match. I'm generally a very CT-sided pl player. I prefer CT rifles to the AK. My primary role is generally a support rifler on B. In this match, my B partner played a particular playstyle of B that generally didn't agree with me. I'm not used to the one-way smokes, and I thought he overused them. There were a lot of pug strats, which I'm not a huge fan of. Obviously, this is an ESEA pug. Um, there's going to be pug strats. You just got to get used to the random pushes, the non-crazy execution and flashes and smokes, um, you know, if that's the kind of CS that you want to play. Um, and you said, overall, I think they play, I played a rather mundane game with a stellar last round, so we'll have to check that out later, but um, just to preface something real quick, mundane game is okay, wins is all that matters, a lot of people like to go and play pugs and just try and be pug all-stars and just get all kinds of crazy wins, uh, I mean crazy crazy stats and frags and clips, and um, that's that's cool and all, but you know, as a CS player, if you're looking to get into competitive play, the really the only thing that matters is as long as you hold your own, you contribute to each round for your teammates, and you guys win the round, uh, or win the match. So, anyway, here you guys are. You guys are on an anti-eco. Um, these guys have been running a pretty standard play. I watched them, obviously. They do a pretty standard play every single round. Just as a terrorist, they come and get a little banana control, throw some flashes, throw some nades, and you've played pretty much banana the entire um, or you played banana the entire game. Um, your teammate here, he he plays he plays with you most of the time. He does a good job. His one way smoke on banana is actually a really good really good one way smoke. You just weren't playing the right angle of it. If you're at sandbags and the, and the one way smoke is on top of a car, they can see you there when you were crouched. So the angle that he was playing from the corner, he can see their feet on the bottom of the smoke. Uh, we'll see that a few more times later on in the demo, but um, it's totally fine. It delays them. They know that it's a one way smoke. Um, it would be more useful if he used it in a situation when they were actually going to try and creep up banana or execute, um, which is fine. You know, you could have used your smoke to block them off banana early in the round. Then he throws the one-way smoke when it, they're going to start executing you guys and get a frag or two and fall back. So, anyway, um, this is like I said, an anti-eco round. Obviously, five on five. They've got pistols. One of those dudes bought a gun. Your teammate also has a Colt. I think that's the dude playing with you on banana. Um, that's a misbuy on him. Uh, really should be buying a Colt second round. So anyway, or third round. Um, five on five situation. Minute and a half. Minute and five seconds left in the round, and you're peeking down a banana with, you know, uh, uh, an early flash you just threw, and you're taking a fight on banana when there's not much going on. You know, you you. It's totally okay in this in this time in the round to just be turtling, sitting in the site, doing nothing, um, using the time to your advantage because they have to come to you and plant the bomb. Uh, preferably you should have saved that first flash and you have a smoke and another flash uh, which you could have used to your advantage to delay them when they actually start hitting the site but instead you're taking an early fight on banana he gets a dink off on you repeaks and gets the kill your teammate was right behind you um basically there was no need to take that fight uh, you got a little impatient and you paid the price he got a headshot off on you with the p250 and got a kill he potentially could get that gun. Obviously, your teammates here on Banana um, protecting the gun. And you put your teammates in a four-on-five situation. I, it, even though it is an e anti-eco round, it still is a little too close for comfort Comfort uh, with how nuts the pistols are in CSGO. So it's just one of those things you just need to not take fights that you don't need to. Um, generally speaking, the, the level of play in, in ESEA is much 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 higher than the level of play even the global elite play in matchmaking uh, for a number of reasons the average matchmaker is the average global elite matchmaker who's never played competitive is probably the same skill level as an ESEA intermediate uh, player and the random ESEA player is of much higher quality and caliber than the average global elite player um, just by a large margin because of they understand the competitive aspect of the game um, 
generally speaking. So they're going to play it right. You know, he's just going to try and pick you off if you're going to be peeking banana and just get a kill and just play the time. It's an eco round. They got two kills and with just one of these dudes buying an SMG and did a bunch of damage. And, you know, obviously you're going to be able to buy this next round. But, you know, that's a pretty good anti-eco round for them. And in, you know, competitive Counter-Strike, that's, you know, part of your job as a terrorist is to break the other team's economy, have them on off buys the whole time, have them scrambling for grenades, maybe buying a FAMAS, you know, here and there. So it's just, again, don't take the fights you don't need to. Um, play the time towards your advantage and play a little bit uh, more passive or less impatient. All right, so here you are on the next round. And he threw an early smoke on Banana, and you've went straight to Sandbags. And there's not a lot of sound happening, not much really going on, but you throw a molly. He's got his one-way smoke on Banana. He's with you here on Banana, and they're just waiting out the one-way smoke. And as you can see, your teammate's falling back now. So he's basically in the site. You're about to throw a smoke. He's at first oranges in the site. You're by yourself on sandbags on banana. So this is a uh, this is you know both him and you. He, he I don't know if he should have left you or if you guys are communicating. I don't really know. But with that said, you're in the ECA pug. You have to just assume that you're not going to be playing very. Uh, team-oriented um, Counter-Strike with great communication. You're going to need to play off of your teammates what they're doing. You guys kind of just need to watch each other and, and communicate. And if you're not communicating, you just have to see what they're doing on radar and adjust accordingly. So you're still by yourself here on Banana. You had a great chance to get away when you had that smoke there. Uh, looks like he's low. Yeah, he's got 4 HP. So this is there's no reason for you to just be here on banana by yourself obviously we have um you know the radar on but another radar the uh x-ray even if we didn't have the x-ray you should still be thinking here oh i'm by myself here on banana uh this is probably not a good idea so what happens is they come through the smoke you throw a flash and by yourself on banana you get a kill but you're basically in like a one and done spot um You'll hear a lot of pros talk about this, a lot of casters, a lot of you know streamers. They're talking about, oh, you're in a one-and-done spot. means you're going to get one kill. They're going to pinch on you, push you, and you're not going to get another kill. More than likely, you will get one kill. The second kill you may get sometimes, but more than likely, you're not going to get it. Even if you do do damage to the second guy, it's just you're putting, putting yourself in a tough situation to to come out on on top of that fra uh, that situation. So RCK plays that good, comes and gets the trade frag on the dude who kills you and runs back to site. He played that really good. Um, yeah, you got a kill, you did some damage, but it still wasn't it wasn't played well enough. You sh you 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 like again in the earlier part of this video, I say that um, you should be playing the bomb sites. You should be smoking them off on banana, delaying their strategy forcing them to come to you if you watch any of the pro matches you'll see them smoke banana early flash them back early um one of them will still have a smoke for when they start to execute they'll smoke the choke point and delay the terrorist even more it'll give their ct uh their mid their rotator from mid time to rotate to come over there for actually when they do start hitting the site um you know that's your main goal is to just disrupt their strategy and in turn you may get some kills you may not but just disrupting their strategy and getting them flustered to where there's only 20 seconds left in the round and they have to get in the site and plant the bomb they're going to make more mistakes unless they just come in and headshot you but they're it's going to force them to make mistakes so in that situation um you know you need to play off your teammate you need to see that he's not with you and that you need to run away and you need to play a crossfire and you know, this is something that you can apply through every map in counter-strike you need to be utilizing crossfires there's a reason that everybody talks about them so much and there's so many setups and plays for crossfires we have lots of videos showing you how to set up crossfires. So, um, you know, that, that's what you need to apply that round. All right. And here in this round, it's just a quick thing. I would like to note that the good first nade on banana, that if there was somebody up there on banana running up early to get um, under pillars to see if anybody gets to car, you would have done a lot of damage to him with that nade. It's a good nade. Um, I would like you to utilize your smokes 
and your equipment and your flashes better timed. Um, it's hard to explain, but you can basically just peek down banana, like crack peek this corner that you're sitting here into banana. And when you see them, then you would smoke and then you would flash. Um, that would have been a better use of your smoke. Um, I see you're, you're waiting here with it primed and you, you drop it a little early there. Um, obviously you're not wall hacking and you can't tell, but if you watch a lot of the pro matches, you'll see them spotting into banana. They won't use it until it's a necessary time to throw the smoke or the flash. And this is a decent little boost you got here but it doesn't work with where your teammate's at. With you on top of this boost, he needs to be in a different position because you're now basically fully exposed and he's basically baiting you or hiding. You know, again, the communication may not be the best, but you know, I would, it, you need to know that you can't be there unless your teammate's gonna be CT spawn. And then as soon as they threw that smoke, you should say, oh, okay, he, my teammate's definitely not in CT spawn. So I'm gonna be the first person that there, there's gonna be three people shooting at when they execute the site. You gotta fall back. You gotta drop down and basically play the crossfire again. So they come up and they're flashed. You get one kill and, oh, you got two kills. Nice, so two kills and a frag. That's, that's a great job. You still could have just fallen back as soon as they did that and forced them to play you know, the site and get in and plant the bomb and shoot them when they're playing the bomb or flash them and just get free frags. And you obviously, your teammates are rotating relatively quickly. So the delay was good. Um, I think the spray on the second guy was, you know, if not a little lucky, but you know, good job there. And just try to play the position, try to use your positioning to your advantage to force them into the site and execute. So just uh, try that next. All right. And, um, here we are on the last round of the game. This is an eco round for you guys. Um, you mentioned that you had a stellar last round, so we're going to go ahead and watch it. But in the meantime, it takes a little while to get into the actual uh, the cool coolness of the round. But in the meantime, I'm going to explain um, just one of the things that happens in higher level Counter-Strike. Uh, obviously, like I said earlier, global elite matchmaking is nowhere near even the basic competition that happens in ESCA pugs just because the average caliber of player is just much higher. So you mentioned that you played a mundane game for the mon game was mundane, meaning, you know, you were just, it was kind of boring. You got a kill. You guys ended up winning the match. Um, you know, you got your one or two kills around. I mean, if you were lucky, kind of boring, you didn't really, you know, go frag crazy. That's totally okay. There's, there's a lot of players in the game that don't get like enough credit I'm talking about pro players that don't get enough credit because they don't have all these crazy stats. Like Pronax is one of the, he, you know, gets a kill around, maybe two, you know, when they hit his site, he does his job. He contributes to the rounds. He's not known to, he doesn't get four and 5k, you know, spray downs and sick op shots and all this kind of crazy stuff. But that's because he's, you know, plays that kind of support role and that he just outsmarts his teammate or outsmarts his opponents. It's... It's just one of those things you have to just you know understand that you need those players on your team that are just going to be very consistent. They're going to get the kills when the bad guys come to them. They're going to get. They're going to do their job, and they may not get the you know three and four k spray downs, but you as long as you do your job and you win the match, that's all that matters. And you know it's just even in ESCA pug, I know it's just you're having fun and getting frags. But every time you play CS, you have to understand that you're playing the game and you're trying to learn and get better and not mistake, not make the same mistakes. So as long as you have that mentality and you win the game, you know you're 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 progressing as a player. So this is actually a really good play. You guys are on a Nico round. You guys are taking it nice and slow. Um, I don't think they know that you guys are on a Nico round, or they may from the early gunfights on mid, but this is a good play. You know, you have to basically watch the banana control, uh, you know, the banana push basically either by pit or this spot here. And you push up on this dude and you get a great headshot on him, pick up the gun. So four on four situation, three on four now. And uh, I think you get a good shot on this guy here. So I, I'm not sure if he still thought you had a pistol, but he like, you know, kept peeking you there. So you, ex you exploited his mistake there. Great job. Um, it's it's okay to just kind of lurk around at this kind of point because you guys are still on an eco round. You have a gun now, and you're ma you, you've basically done your job on an eco round, getting you know two kills, picked up a gun. You could save at this kind of you would, could save at this point in the round, and you would it would still basically be a win. So good flash on the dude mid. 
Um, he just happened to be in the you know in a bad spot, and the angle that you peeked him on was good because you didn't expose yourself from library side or uh, arch side mid, and you put your you put your self in a 2v2 situation now another great job your teammate spots one out you get a good headshot on him and now you're in a 1v1 situation i actually just released a video yesterday basically explaining how to clutch and you you've played this perfectly you you've put yourself in situations where you're 1v1ing the bad guys obviously in that situation that bad guy was one was 2v1ing you guys he didn't know where you were at obviously and you got a good uh got a good shot on him so you're in a 1v1 situation now and this just comes down to where he comes from how prepared you are for what angle he's going to come from i prefer i i would have preferred you to have planted for pit because pit's the best spot like in the game you have just so much cover you can play the um you can play the big circle thing pope uh run around it you can delay them you know there's just so many different ways to play pit and it's just a super strong spot this really isn't the best spot uh for that plant spot because he's going to know that you're going to be in sight because if you plant there you either have to be in apartments or in sight to protect the bomb so he throws a good flash he really should have killed you there um but you got the kill on him great clutch great round great match um just to do a quick recap uh don't take the fights that you don't need to. Um, save your equipment for when they're starting to execute. Don't burn it early. You know, you can get information on Banana by peeking down, just, you know, uh, jiggle peeking a corner to spot their arm. And when you see them, then throw your smoke so that you know that you're at least waste, you're not wasting your smoke. Um, and you're going to delay them 15 seconds. Uh, play off of your teammates and pugs. You know, it, I, I know that pug counter-strike is not super competitive and it's not uh your communication is not on point but just play off your teammates you'll have a much better time you'll win more games um you'll also get used to learning how to play off people's play styles and you will learn how to uh play well off of other people's play styles i guess those are two separate things but you will learn how to okay if this guy's our first oranges i know i need to go ct spawn so that we can have a crossfire here or if he's playing new box i'm gonna go to emo and we're gonna have another crossfire or i'm gonna go to spindles you know just things like that um and i would say that's pretty much it and then also kind of get the idea out of your head that you don't need to be three and four king every round and just getting a kill here and there and winning the match is totally fine you know just in, in serious competitive counter-strike you'll see in pro matches that there's not just one dude running around killing everybody they're getting trade kills they're setting up basic setups they're playing the fundamentals of counter-strike just at a higher level so anyway hope you enjoyed this demo review uh hope you learned something and keep on fragging you're doing a good job and um if you like the video comment comment and subscribe below and uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks, guys.